so Max, you finally yes. saw the movie last night with your family. Yes. Tell me the reaction of your family. Uh, uh, <laughs> I heard my son right next to me a few gongs going, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, and and that, that's a good reaction. <laughs> that's for, a good for reaction. A, from a teenage son. Yeah. And, <laughs> uh, and if, if you're 19 and you like it, that is, uh, we, can't, we, can't, we couldn't hope for more than that. And your daughter? She wasn't there. Oh. But she will love it, I know. Uh, and when you told them that you were doing this movie, did they tell your dad, you're so cool? Yeah, not in that many words. I mean, I'm still their dad, and it's, it's really hard to be cool when you're a dad. But I think they, 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 they think it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And tell me about the character. What really interested you in doing this movie and being part of the Marvel family? The fact that it's Marvel is, is already very intriguing. Uh, and secondly, obviously, uh, Benedict playing him was also a, uh, a very big plus in the book. Uh, after reading the script, I couldn't imagine anybody else but him playing it. And, and, then, uh, and then the physicality, what we tend to in this room call the flying kung fu. Mm -hmm. uh, that was definitely something that drew me. Did, did you take up any Kung Fu lessons or anything? Before, when I was a kid? Yes, yes I did, actually. Uh. I was a gymnast, and a friend of mine was doing Kung Fu, and I was a big, big fan of Bruce Lee. I went to the class, or whatever they called it, and I and they were doing all these very restricted moves, and, and I always added a little too much. I always like did a flip or did something <laughs> cool, and, and then they were, you know, they were walking backwards out, mm -hmm. bowing at the mm -hmm. teacher, and I just left, and then he called me back in, and he said, Yes, I think you can learn it, but come back in five years. So mm -hmm. that was the end of my Kung Fu career. Oh, and if you had any power, what would it be? If you had any... What would I what would, choose? What, what would yes, I pick? Yes, what power would it be? I want them all. all, yeah. all, all. <laughs> uh, but, but if I have to pick, i, I got to do the, go with the flying thing. I think that it must uh, be so fun to be able to fly. Mm -hmm. Did you do any meditation with the monk, the in-house monk? No, I did not. <laughs> now, I have a tendency to fall asleep when I meditate. <laughs> And then that's like money out of the window. Mm. So you don't do any yoga? How do you calm no. yourself? Like after a f shooting or I don't filming? necessarily calm myself. I, I uh, m my, my way of, of you know, de-stressing is often doing sports. Uh, ah, it it yes. might not sound calm, yeah. uh, calm but it is very calm, mm -hmm. calming for me. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it, it's a way why I meditate somehow. Mm -hmm. It's like releasing all those extra energies. Yeah, mm -hmm. out they go. Mm. Are your kids also into sports? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah pretty much so. Mm -hmm. What kind of sports? Well, uh, soccer, tennis, everything mm -hmm. they can get their hands on, basically. Mm -hmm. And tell me about this director. How did he fo channel your energies into this, this character? This Scott guy, yeah. Uh, he's, um, well, he's one of these directors. I mean, it's, it's, it's a tricky thing to have a director who's uh, hopelessly in love with that universe, mm -hmm. and he is, right? And he grew up uh, not only with Marvel, but specifically Doctor Strange. Uh, and but he was so on top of the game, and he knew exactly how, how it was going to be tackled, how he was going to approach that part of the film. Mm -hmm. Same time, a man on his knee on the scenes, I level with the actors directing the intimate scenes, uh, and and uh, that's all you can ask for in a Marvel film. That's just a fantastic combination of uh, one dedicated person. Mm -hmm. And I love, I like also the fact that he added sense of humor in the mm -hmm. film, which is not usually seen in some. <coughs> Superheroes. Films, I think it's always you know, there to, always to, to a degree, right? But at, at, at the humor part is is uh, always a fine balance. Mm -hmm. If you do it too much, you get sick and tired of punchline on punchline. If you do it too little, it becomes a little too pretentious, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a, such a fine balance. Um, but that was a little more than I expected, and I think it's all really fitting into the film. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Hope to see you in the Philippines.